down here, but I'm not. Yeah, I don't, I I don't, these gyros are kind of weird. We can reset this to show this is level. Okay. Yeah, I am trying to push this down a little bit. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> Those I've got to get used to. Yep. Uh, let's make a left-hand turn, kind of out to the northwest, o over the uh, the water there. So we don't get into Provo's airspace. Start moving. Yeah, 120. Doesn't feel like it up here. No. Nope. Granted, our ground speed's only 114. For, you want me to go out to the lake here? Yeah, um, I mean, we're not gonna do anything super crazy. Um, and kind of more or less, we're just gonna go out over the lake and then kind of turn around to the other side of West Mountain. We're gonna go around the mountain here? Yep. Yeah, I just want you to get pretty comfortable with the airplane before we get into maneuvers. Um, so, you know, just getting the feel for it, kind of getting everything figured out. Okay. All right, I think I got the trim. Yep. Trying to hold that 6500 a little bit. Beautiful view. Oh yeah. I, uh, I had an intro flight the other night. And, uh, oh man, we took off right after sunset. I almost wish we had taken off like 15 minutes earlier because we would have gotten the sunset, but stunning views. That's what's nice about this airplane, is you have this nice wide panoramic view. It's like the 172, you know, it's kind of blocked by the the frame of the airplane. Yeah, I find my, since my torso is so tall, I'm always sitting like this. <laughs> yeah. But here, if I sit up straight, I rub on the dome. Oh, yeah. in a little bit of altitude here. Yeah, so whenever you're feeling pretty comfortable with everything, uh, we'll do slow flight to begin with. Because uh, slow flight really helps with these landing this airplane. Okay. Uh, landing this, I mean, it's the same in any airplane. Uh, you're basically flying the airplane in slow flight to begin with. Um, the only difference is instead of holding altitude, you know, you're now you're kind of more so uh, descending or holding the descent rate. And so when we're flying in slow flight, and the same principle applies to when we're trying to land the airplane, you know, we set our pitch to maintain our airspeed, and then we use power to adjust our descent rate. So if we're descending too fast, we just give it a little bit of power, repitch for our airspeed, and then that descent rate will slow down. If we are not descending quick enough or we need to get down a little bit quicker, we just pull a little bit of power out, readjust our pitch for our airspeed, and then that airplane will increase that descent rate. And so I try to focus on slow flight in this airplane, because the 172, you can kind of, you can kind of get away with not really, um, Necessarily flying it in slow flight on the final or on your uh, traffic pattern, as where this airplane, I've kind of found that it it really helps to just kind of work on those slow flight techniques while you're in the traffic pattern to be able to fly it. Uh, let me know if these bumps get too much. We can go back uh, to the other side. Uh, I I need to get used to them. The one question I have about the bumps: Can they flip us over? I don't know in this airplane. I wouldn't be surprised with how small it is. Uh, but that's not going to happen. <laughs> um, I haven't seen really more than a five degrees, that five degree kind of bank yeah. uh, with the turbulence. So, no, I need to I need to get used to it. Okay, because it's going to happen a lot. True. Uh, I guess it depends day. on how much you fly, though. Well, I I I want to be able to go to Arizona, or go to California, or something, and okay. you're well, going to go through multiple. Terrain. Uh, multiple uh, weather systems. Weather systems, yeah. yeah. Well, in the mountainous terrain, especially 
going down anywhere here. It's just, you're gonna get a lot of bumps, so yeah. yeah. Good, uh, good plan. All right. Yeah, whenever you're ready, we're gonna do slow flight. So for slow flight, uh, we have our pre-maneuver checklist, which is basically just, um, I think, mixture rich. Let's see, where is it? Boost pump on, power set, mixture set for altitude, uh, configure the aircraft. But we also have a kind of placard here that says for low power operation or idle power, uh, mixture floor rich. And um, I've had some, I, well, I wouldn't say issues. The mixture on this, like I kind of said earlier, is a little bit finicky. Um, and so uh, we'll just do full rich for our mixture. Uh, but we're going to bring power back to 1500 RPM. And then we're just going to get into slow flight. So we're going to start bringing that nose of the airplane up because uh, we want to maintain our altitude, right? And as we bring that nose up, we're going to start bleeding off that airspeed. So we're already kind of trying to pitch for our airspeed there. And we're trying to get down to 55 knots or so. Okay. So, uh, mixture full rich first, correct? Yep. Okay. Yep. Okay, mixture full rich. Okay, and then we can bring that power back to 1500 RPM. And as that power is coming out, we're just going to have to add some back pressure to start bleeding off that airspeed and maintaining our altitude. Very good. So we're below 100 knots now. We can add our first set of flaps, take off, and we can do that. Yep. Below 100 or in the white? Below 100. That'll help slow us out down as well. So keeping that power coming back, maintaining our altitude. Okay. We're in the white arc now, so we can go full flaps or landing flaps. I think we talked about region of reverse command last time we flew, right? Yeah, but uh, it's been a while. <laughs> been a while, yeah. Okay, so uh, sorry, go ahead. Uh, I'm having a hard time maintaining uh, level flight, so I just need to keep pulling back, yeah? Well, so our pitch, region of reverse command is our pitch is now going to control our airspeed and our power is going to control our altitude. So with that power, de or uh, with the altitude decrease, we just give it power now. Um, and so that's kind of where so okay. to get into slow flight, we bring our power back, right? But then once we are in our slow flight configuration, so flaps full forward or full down, and then our airspeed to where we want it, that's when we can start re-adding that power to get back Traffic into our available. altitude. And so we can see that we're descending. We've descended now 300 feet since we got into slow flight. So we just add power until we get back to where we want to. And we can do full power in this maneuver. And... Um what airspeed did uh, did you want me to maintain? Uh, about 55, no less than 55. All right. Well, where? Okay. Uh, so we are actually holding our altitude with that power set in. Um, so let's just give it some more power. Let's see if we can start a climb. They're climbing a little bit. Yep. And so in slow flight, we're probably not going to get anything more than 100, maybe 200 feet a minute if we're lucky. I mean, it kind of depends on the day too, right? A nice cold day, we might get a little bit of extra performance out of that on a nice hot day. Um, and especially the higher we go, we're not going to get anything on it. I remember during my commercial multi-engine add-on, we, uh, we were doing slow flight at 8,500 and I was full power holding the, the stick back, maintaining my, my airspeed, and we just could not maintain altitude. I looked at my examiner, and I'm like, so I know it's not within 100, plus or minus 100 feet, but I can't do anything else. He's like, nah, I get it, go ahead and like, sweet. Cool, so we've gotten our airspeed fairly where we want it. And we're starting to climb again, which is great. So why don't you give me a right-hand turn, nice and shallow right-hand turn. Let's just kind of head a little bit south. Still climbing, so that's all right. Yep. And we'll get back to 6,500. Once we're at 6,500, we'll just reset our power, just slowly bring it back until we get to where we want to be as far as level of flight. And you can add a little bit more back pressure in as well to help get back to that 60 to, 60 to 55. Because we should be able to fly this, or fly the airplane in slow flight about 50, maybe even down to 50, but um, good practice is about 50. 
Air 55. Yeah. Heavy side as well. Okay, we're about 6,500. And trimming, trimming this maneuver is going to be your best friend. Because if you're if you're just kind of holding it back the entire time, trying to maintain that airspeed, you're going to get fatigued very quick just because it's a lot of work on you. So definitely holding or setting that trim is going to really help you out on that. That's a lot better. Yep. Cool. Give me a right hand turn back to the north. Okay. So we're starting to climb a little bit so we can pull a little bit of power out. And then watch that nose. We want to pitch for 55. Oh, 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 what am I doing wrong here? Oh, you're fine. Just uh, reduce a little bit of power. And nice and shallow with that bank. Let's do about 10, 15 degrees of bank. Nothing crazy. Because if you move the stick kind of left and right, just in a really quick, you know, not much movement, uh, you're going to feel that the, the controls don't have a lot of authority in slow flight. So you really have to just kind of really give it a lot. And so that's why I say nice and shallow movements uh, when you're in slow flight. And the same kind of applies when we're in the traffic pattern, too. We don't want to over control the airplane. We want to just use nice, gentle movements. And in the traffic pattern, uh, really 20 to 30 degrees of bank is fine and sufficient for what we need to do. Um, but I, I really reiterate 20 degrees.